so we kick off a critical reasoning discussion by discussing conditionals it is extremely important for us to understand the difference between the sufficient and the necessary conditions but for all cr questions but especially for assumptions and for flow and reasoning we'll start our discussion with sufficient conditions now it is a condition that will produce the event we say that it is enough alone to produce the event all right so an example is if it rains the playground will get wet so i say that this condition of rains if it rains then what will happen then the ground will get wet yeah raining is enough for the ground to get wet you don't need anything else along with the rain to get the ground wet you know the ground is not covered we know it and the moment it starts raining the ground will get wet so your rains is a sufficient condition it is enough alone to get the ground wet now please do realize that when i say that it is enough alone it doesn't mean that it is the only condition that will get the ground wet right now another thing could be let's say if i open the hose on the ground what happens then then also the ground gets wet right so then this is another sufficient condition for the ground to get wet this could also lead to the ground getting wet right so these are called your sufficient conditions that if this happens then this will happen if this happens then this will happen now this the raining may not be the only thing that can make the ground wet but it is certainly a sufficient one to make it wet right okay so then when we have these sufficient conditions uh, are written by if when whenever or there's a modified analysis that we'll take in our examples in the video a little later um now what we mean is that we write these with if it rains so the thing that appears after if is your sufficient condition or we can say when it rains that also means the same thing when it rains the playground gets wet then also your it rains is a sufficient condition or instead of when we can write whenever then also it signals a sufficient condition so if when whenever and a modified unless signal sufficient conditions um now we have this short table for you to keep in mind because when we get questions it it is often that we get confused in sufficient and necessary conditions so what we'll do is that we'll figure out whether it is a sufficient or a necessary condition like if it is an if condition then we know that it is a sufficient condition and then we we'll keep in mind that a sufficient condition implies two things what it implies a implies b and not b implies not a okay what this means uh, in our example is my a is it rains right because i say if a then b is the structure of my condition so if it rains it rains is my a and the ground will get wet the ground will get wet is my b right so then a implies b means that if i know that it rained i say that in the day it did rain today then i know for sure it means that the ground did get wet so a does lead to b i can say that if a happened then b happened for sure this is what i mean by a implies b now think about it if i say if i figure out you know i was out for the day for example and i come back at night and then i see that the ground is not wet that the ground has not gotten wet at all throughout the day what can i say if i say that the ground did not get wet is not wet then i can say that it did not rain right because if it would have rained then the ground would have gotten wet so that is why if i say that b did not happen if i can see that b did not happen then it implies that a did not happen either i can be sure that a did not happen either if the ground is not wet then it definitely did not rain 
so both these are implied by a sufficient condition by an if condition a does imply b and not b does imply not a if i am given not b i can say that a did not happen okay now look at the other two b implies a does b imply a for example can i say that okay i come back and i see that the ground is wet can i say that it must have rained think about it i told you that a sufficient condition for example rains is enough to cause the ground wet but that doesn't mean that it is the only one that caused the ground to get wet right if i did open a hose then also the ground would get wet so in case i see that the ground is wet then can i say that it must have rained today does this imply rain no not necessary it is not necessary that it must have rained why because someone could have opened a hose on the ground as well right so just because we see that the ground is wet it does not mean that it must have rained that is why we say that b does not imply a if i know that b happened i cannot say that a must have happened then same thing goes with not a does not imply not b this one the third one here not a means that if it did not rain so i know look i don't know whether the ground is wet or not i haven't seen it but i do know that it did not rain let's say i saw that i know that it did not rain then can i say that the ground is not wet again i cannot because because what if someone opened the hose on it right or it got wet in some other way so that is why when i say not a that it did not rain it does not imply not b i can't say anything about b b could have happened b may not have happened so in my sufficient condition two things are implied what are they a implies b if a happened then i know b happened for sure and not b implies not a if i know b did not happen then i know that a did not happen either but the other two b uh, implies a and not a implies not b does not imply right i cannot say if i know that b happened i can't say anything about a i don't know whether it happened or not and if i say not a happened that is it did not rain then i can't say anything about the ground getting wet or not i don't know whether it got wet or not so these two these middle two are not implied but these two are implied the first and the last one they are implied remember in our sufficient condition if when whenever conditions a implies b what i mean by a implies b is that if a happened if i know that a happened i can say that b also happened and not b implies a uh, implies not a which means that if i know that b did not happen then i know for sure that a did not happen to so given if a then b here a is the sufficient condition so a implies b and not b implies not a the other two are not implied keep that in mind okay now we look at necessary conditions these are those that must be met for an event to take place but they may not be sufficient alone so for example only if you work hard will you succeed what they are trying to say over here is that hard work is essential it is necessary to succeed that you cannot succeed without hard work it doesn't matter how smart you work or whatever but if you do not put in the hard work then you do not succeed that is what this statement is saying but then hard work for example may not be sufficient to succeed for example what you may need is support of your colleagues as well to succeed right for example you may need some aspect of good fortune as well to succeed etc so 
the point is that hard work is one of the essential elements to succeed if this is not there then success will certainly not happen but this alone may not be sufficient because you may also need other factors and when all of them are added together all your necessary conditions are added together then it may lead to the event then the success may happen this is what we mean by a necessary condition it is essential for the event but it may not be sufficient alone for the event so hard work is necessary for su uh, succeeding but it may not be enough so this is how we write it only if a then b which means a is necessary for b to take place yeah, for b to happen all right so again just like we uh, saw these you know uh, these statements in our sufficient condition we we'll look at them over here also now over here b implies a for example if i know that you were successful what does that mean what can i say about you i can say that you must have worked hard right because why because i know that without hard work one cannot succeed so if you were successful i say you must have worked out if hard if i know b that implies that a must have happened you know if b has happened then a must have happened so b does imply a now what if i know that you did not put in the hard work if no hard work then then i know that for sure it doesn't matter what all you do you will not succeed if you do not put in the hard work then you will not succeed it doesn't matter what other things you have whether you have the support of your colleagues or whether you have some good fortune why because i have been told that hard work is essential to succeeding so if you do not put the hard work then you will not succeed i know that so then i can say that not a implies not b if a does not take place then b will also not take place for sure i can say so that is why both of these statements are implied these b does imply a and not a does imply not b when we have a necessary condition but note here that the flip is true you know the way it was in sufficient conditions it is the exact opposite over here in necessary conditions here a does not imply b so for example if i know that you worked hard then can i say that you will be successful well i can't say for sure right because what if you don't have the support of your colleagues what if that good fortune is not there or whatever if one of the necessary conditions are missing then you may not succeed so that is why having a i i know that you did work hard it does not imply b i cannot say that you must succeed you will succeed all i can say is that you may or may not succeed so basically b is not implied out similarly not b does not imply not a so if i know that someone did not succeed can i say that he did not work hard no not necessary maybe he did work hard uh, but her, uh, working hard was not sufficient right it was a necessary condition so if i know that someone did not succeed then i cannot say that he did not work hard maybe he did but did not have luck on his side so that is why not b does not imply not a right so these two are not implied while these two are implied b does imply a and not a does imply not b now how they are used in questions we'll discuss that shortly but you should remember these results so given only if a then b here a is the necessary condition so here b implies a and not a implies not b the other two are not implied the other two are implied in the if a then b condition 